Legion. Shepard Commander. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarians' live ships. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ships' defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Rewriting the heretics increased the number of Geth allied with the old machines. This has resulted in a greater number of hostile Geth platforms. So you're saying it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical disadvantage. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. Do you harbor regrets about rewriting the heretics? The Quarians hit first. If we get rid of the Reaper's signal, maybe this war doesn't have to end with everyone destroyed. An interesting notion. Most organics would not hold on to ideals of peace for so long. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it. Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. What'd you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. Of course. <laughs> I, like, I like how it says that. And obviously that must have been nice because <laughs> nobody believed her. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Thought he had an extra dialogue, but apparently not. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Taddy. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. I'm pretty sure it's LADAR, not LADAR. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a home world. My people need me. You could help your people's home world by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Also, she mentioned it's when this is over, so she can't she can't fight the Reapers when this is over because it's over. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Will do. Uh, in fact, I think 
we might have to we might have that option for a few other people but we'll see my old sergeant told me that Cerberus started out as an alliance black op black ops always go bad if you have to deny the action it was a crappy action that's not what secret services are in the sense of that they don't always go bad with their secret services I, maybe I'm misunderstanding what she means by Black Cop. Man, watching the Geth fleet move, it's like thousands of stunt flyers in formation. Creepy stunt flyers, whose ships look like some sort of cockroach wasp thing. They do? Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Quarians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep him safe from the Geth and themselves. So, so apparently they're very short-range weapons, so... Or something. So it's not like artillery. Commander? Because, you know, artillery doesn't have armor. What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, well, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proce... Uh-oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. Hello, Shepard. Hi, Edie. And delivery. You should, you should uh, alter your delivery as well for better delivery. That wasn't... I mean... We, we, sort of, we sort of forgive her for having bad delivery. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. But, uh, but yeah, the timing was kind of all right. Admiral Chorus has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Commander? And we have emails here. My cousin Dorn from Navtil Vafas, potentially, Grigurt, Commander Shepard, the civilian fleet, capital C, capital F, is grateful you have returned our admiral to us. I mourn those who fell on the homeworld, but Zal Korish stopped many vessels from flying past the waiting guns of the Geth. The admiral, this time with a capital A, told me you met my cousin Dorn Hast on Ranok. It means much to me that Dorn was not alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander, capital C, for all that you have done. Yours most sincerely, Captain Navtil Fas Grigolt. Yeah, of course. Just do him a thing. Do you know? Just do him a thing. Let's, uh, let's talk to the rest of the crew, I suppose. Dad. Dad. Uh, are you there? Come in. Where are you now? Hurt. How bad? Dad, you have to get out of there. Spirits. Please, watch over them. Let me see them again. I'm glad we could help those Quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? Later. Interesting that he introduces the doubt of the existence of spirits. It takes a certain kind of uh, society to maintain the tradition of a belief of a made-up thing like Santa Claus. But at the same time, grown men just being like, if you really do exist... You know, not not like Santa Claus, but you, you know what I mean. 
They're in, a, in a, an interesting stage in their society, is all I'm saying. Hello, Commander. Sup? Breaking now, the Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them, or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Commander. Apparently, we're not here to get answers. We're just here to hear the pitch. It's kind of a shame that we don't hear the answers, honestly. I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rannoch. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower, and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. <laughs> That's really good. Always good to see you, Commander. Uh-huh. Uh, what about you, Vega? I just don't get the glory. I really just do not get them. What's not, what's not to, what, what do you mean not get them? Like, what? Hey. That, the fact that they attacked the Geth? The fact that they created the Geth? I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Let's go to the cabin and see who we can invite up into here. This is the way, yes. Invite Tally. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. Even if we defeat the Geth, you will lose more ships, Tally. You need to be ready for that. My father once told me that commanders mourn losses, not people. He didn't think he could make the big decisions, the ones affecting the whole fleet, unless he put people at a distance. I don't think I can do that. Maybe I'm not meant to be an admiral. They need you here. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. And that probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Before the Admirals get into trouble again. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't think I can invite anybody else. Let's shut down the Geth server. I think you're meant to do multiple missions in a row here. Uh, so we're bringing Tally and we're bringing... Oh, I thought Legion was coming with us. Now we're bringing Liara. And Tally has some upgrades here. Increased damage to lifted targets. Actually, that's pretty good. Warp ammo. And uh, stasis short. Stops an enemy in its tracks. I haven't used that, but that sounds like just my kind of uh, thing. We got energy drain, increased damage or reduced damage taken by 40% for 10 seconds. Oh, this is armor boost. No, let's just go with the other one. And uh, Sabotage, Defense Drone, these are kind of similar to mine, if not exactly the same as mine. Commander, it is as we feared. Guest squadrons have begun massing on a path to intercept our live ships. Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? That's insane! You're talking
thinking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile, yet synthetics. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Cerberus conducted research on Geth human interfaces. They called it Project Overlord. We monitored their transmissions. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. There'd be more trust if you told me about this plan back on the Normandy. We were still formulating, but your presence is necessary. The surface security is not equipped to track an organic presence. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. This had better be worth flying straight through a war zone. We have compromised local Geth systems. They will remain dormant until our work is complete. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not gonna... Let's set the shuttle down by the cliff. He just, he just goes. Ah, so nice on my knees. Not Tally, Tally's made of paper. She weighs three pounds. This is it? Yes. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. Where is this gonna go? Is this just dialogue, or are we gonna... What's going on? What's gonna happen? Mapping to consensus. Remain still. Shepard Commander, access movement during an upload is discouraged. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into this server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? Tolumnar jointing is what it is. We have installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of this server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? Does he look different? He looks the same to me. You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth's fighters. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist.
Oh, are we fighting? Establishing connection to access point. I assume this goes on forever and stuff. Warning. Connection blocked by infected code. Use our combat software to disrupt the infection. I wondered what the gun was for. This foreign code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. You're surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. Okay, I gotta ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Huh. And thanks. I think. What a weird thing that we're in. Connection established. Proceed to the access point. Establishing connection to communication node. Error. Access denied. Is the Reaper keeping you out? Unknown. Please investigate. Warning. Reaper presence detected. Data cluster contains infected code. We require access to proceed. Sure. Is it this? A Reaper code fragment. Let's see if I can take it along with me. Oh. Accessing data cluster. What is this? Data clusters contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. You really want to rename the VI networks? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit zero one. What is the Keelish word for servant of the people? The word is Gath, creator Zahak. Yes, very good. Ancestor, you fuss over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing zero one circuitry? Well, it needed resoldering. Wasn't that footage from the past? Why are the Quarians masked? You process our memories by using your own. How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? Good point. Ooh, I wonder if I... I wonder if I had had a romance with Tally, she would have said one. Because I think she sees Tally without a mask. I'm not, not sure about that, though. It's been many, many years since my f uh, first playthrough, actually, I think. Which is when when I uh, uh, romanced Tally. So, this doesn't go anywhere? Okay. This data cluster contains information time-stamped 290 years ago. It is still capable of serving. You see? It's ignoring all shutdown commands. Please specify if it has failed assigned tasks. We will reprogram. Well, let's take a look. Creator, this unit is ready to serve. What has it done wrong? What? Let's cut the audio. You may proceed to the last data cluster. Hmm. I wonder if this game is going to discuss anything related to the illusion of consciousness and stuff like that, because at the time of recording, it is kind of more or less in the cultural zeitgeist that... Um, it's easy to misunderstand something made to look sentient as something that is sentient. Uh, and that's because the reason why it's in the cultural zeitgeist is because of chat GPT 
Uh, ChatGPT is basically a text completion uh, AI. Uh, actually, uh, what's the, there, there's an, a name for it, um, for text generation. And I say completion. Is, Accessing data cluster. We've got escaped guests. They're pinned. Open fire. One's going for a weapon. So who won? The platform arming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic death following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. Establishing connection with the remaining server node. Let's go. Hello, Commander. Are you there? Yes, technically. What's your status, Admiral Ron? The guest squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss. I wonder if it has something to do with us cutting out the... Legion, give me an update. One moment remains. What's wrong? Infection programs are increasing. We have restabilized. You must continue. Shepard Commander, the Reaper code has adapted. It can now self-replicate. You mean it grows back? Yes. However, disrupting vulnerable points in the infection may slow down its replication. What does that mean? Did I do it? I think I did it. <laughs> 